We all know Uber's background check system sucks. However, a Lyft driver was recently arrested for driving on 17 suspended licenses. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and well, we have a fun story today because I have definitely been very, very critical of Uber. I've been critical of their background check and the way they condone themselves. I push for fingerprinting. Some people don't believe in fingerprinting. That's fine. We all have our personal opinions on that matter. However, I I just think Uber's background check sucks and it it shows where their heart is that they go out of their way to really not improve it and to actually kill any bills or legislation that might make them make the system, the background check system, more effective, so to speak. However, I say Uber all the light, and really, Lyft's background check is no better. In fact, it's way, way, way worse in many aspects. And this story just proves it. Lyft driver arrested for driving with 17 license suspensions, police say. Not a, not a very comforting headline when you have a company that says, yeah, trust us with your information, trust us with your life. You know, our drivers are vetted properly. Yeah, apparently not enough if someone can get by on driving for se with 17 license suspensions. Anyway, it's going to be funny to see what, how they respond. I predict they're going to be like, oh, we're going to improve our system because of course they will. A man who told po police he was driving for Lyft was arrested Saturday on Long Island, New York, after a check of his driver's license revealed it had been suspended 17 times. Lee, Lee Cross in... 57, of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, was in a Volkswagen Jetta near Cold Spring Harbor train station when an officer responding to a 911 call of a possible intoxicated driver found him stopped in the car at about 9.37 p.m., Sh uh, Shuffle County Police said. Yeah, I would believe he's intoxicated. If he's had that license suspended 17 times, it's probably because <laughs> he's an alcoholic. Crossin was not... Well, okay, actually, I should I should clarify. The article doesn't say that. I'm assuming that. that. That's my personal opinion. We don't know if that's actually what's going on. Crossin was not intoxicated and had run out of gas after dropping off a passenger, police said. Okay, so yeah, at least he wasn't intoxicated. A check of his driver's license showed it had been suspended 17 times, according to police. Crossin was charged with first-degree aggravated unlicensed operation of a motor vehicle. A <laughs> they have a name for everything, don't they? He was scheduled to be arraigned on Sunday at Suffolk County District Court. It was not immediately clear whether he had a lawyer. Lyft told NBC News on Sunday that Crossan was not working for the ride-hailing company Saturday and that he passed a background and department of motor vehicle check in March. Quote, the driver's license this individual provided when applying to drive with Lyft did not show any disqualifying driver records, a spokeswoman said. He has not driven on the Lyft platform since April and is permanently banned from driving with Lyft. So, really, their response was worse than I expected. Not even a, we're going to... I don't know if they even realize how bad this response is. Like, this is a really, really awful response. I, I expected them, truthfully, to say, hey, we're going to look into this. We are going to tighten our group. Instead, they pretty much confirmed what the police said. They're like, yeah, um, the driver's license that he provided didn't show these things. Like, didn't show any disqualifying driving records. The same driver's license the police looked up and said the license had been suspended 17 times. Really effective background check, guys. And then they try... I like how this is how they try to defuse the situation. Like, oh, he hasn't driven on the Lyft platform since April. But don't worry. He's permanently suspended now. It's like, yeah. Not the point. He was driving on a license that had been suspended 17 times, and your background check didn't catch it. You even admitted it. Like, hey, he gave us the exact same driver's license that you guys used to find out that his license had been suspended 17 times. We didn't catch it. My stars and guard, as Tim Pool would say, this company. So, I mean, the funny thing is, like, I actually have several, I actually have a few stories about Lyft today. Two about them exclusively, in fact. And I'm working on a long-term video, which means we're actually going to now, after this article, focus as much on Lyft as Uber. Because Lyft is worse in so many ways than Uber. And we're going to start highlighting how they're worse in so many ways than Uber. It actually has gotten to the point where I do think Lyft is... <sighs> Lyft, yeah, I... You know, I was asked on um, 
an interview with the Rideshare Hub fairly recently, whether I recommended Uber and Lyft. And I kind of said, like, I don't really recommend either one of them. Uh, I kind of lean towards Lyft. I, no, I don't. If you're going to do one, do Uber. Uh, as we're about to see with other videos today and to come this week, Lyft is not a company to be trusted at all. It's a maze that their stock actually trades for more than Uber's. Although my neck, my video, well, a video in like an hour or so, if you're watching this live, that will deal with the stock thing. You'll find out that Uber and Lyft have some skeletons in their closet, skeletons in their closet for that one. So anyway, this is a pretty short one because it's pretty cut and dry. Lyft's background check is useless. It absolutely is. If you can have a driver on there who's had his license suspended 17 times, then clearly it doesn't work. <laughs> clearly the system you have in place does not work. You need to fix it or you need to get an outright new one. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But what says you? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Why? If so, if you agree with me, why? You know, what? why whether you agree with me or disagree with me? That's you know, I just want to know. And anyway, comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, or dislike if, if you just don't like me. And, uh, or this video. And, uh, don't, it's totally optional, but if you really like my content, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way. Telling the channel runs smoothly, and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting you a little down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. And if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare drivers, check us out at the App Driver Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.